Mohammed Qadi graduated more than a year ago with a degree in commerce, but remains jobless. Like many unemployed Algerians, he spends his days wandering around, finding odd jobs every now and then to make a living. He's applied for lots of positions, but he says the private sector is hard for new graduates, and in the government, connections, or ma'rifa, as the Algerians call it, is the only way. When you apply for a job, they demand the experience. But if you are a fresh graduate, how will you get the experience? And to get a job in the government, you need connections. Either your dad, uncle or relative has to be working there to get you in. The government of Algeria provides about 60% of the country's total workforce. But in an attempt to help the unemployed, they set up ANIM. These are recruitment centers that connect job seekers with potential vacancies. Since 2011, the government has increased the number of these centers to more than 300 across the country. Its general manager says changes to Algeria's economy could generate more opportunities. I see the drop in oil prices as a blessing, not as a curse, as it will open up private sector and create producer jobs here in Algeria, rather than creating the jobs for the countries we import from. Yassine Turki, an HR consultant, thinks diversifying the economy away from oil and gas will be challenging, but stresses action needs to be taken now. Today we know that we cannot rely only on the oil and gas. We have to promote the other industries. We hear some things, but we have to see what will happen uh, concretely. Okay, the, we have some uh, guys saying we are going to invest on the tourism, we are going to develop our industry, we cannot rely. It's good. Everybody is okay with that, but now we have to start. One of the sectors the government is keen to develop is information technology and it's putting in place a $3.5 billion plan to develop it. Dayfallah Nasreddin will be one of those hoping to capitalize on the government's support. He's just developed an application that transforms traditional paperbacks into e-books. Uh, there's many forms of support from our country, like startup competition, and like some programs like uh, the incubator, our incubator here in Sidi Abdullah. Uh, but it's, it's really not enough. Not enough is a point that Abdullah Malik, an advocate for entrepreneurship in Algeria, makes. He thinks the business ideas are there, but once the young businessmen start dealing with day-to-day -day hurdles, they back up. If we talk about youth, especially in schools and universities, most of them are talking about startups, and they talk about projects they want to do. But once they get to the starting point and face challenges, they stop. To push the sector forward, the government needs to open up online payments. Secondly, we need to control bureaucracy and ease the steps to start a business and provide liquidity for startups and also facilitate overseas trading. Any startup will want to work with the global market. Algeria spent years fighting for stability and calm. Now with this young population, a solution must be found to integrate this energy into the economy and give them a